Let's take a look at these three Git clients and compare them for usability, speed, and cool features that I discovered. And at the end, I'll tell you which one comes out on top. This video is not sponsored, by the way, so you can be sure that this is an unbiased opinion by a developer with more than a decade of experience. So my daily driver for many years now has been SourceTree. I started using it mainly because it's free and I was really curious to see how it compares to paid tools. One of the main ways that I use SourceTree and any Git client in general is to look at the commit history, the branching structure and the diffs of past commits. I think this is a pretty nice UI that works well for this purpose. I also like that uncommitted changes are shown here, which you can also see in the file stack status menu up here. It's basically the same view, just with more space. Source tree also has a pretty powerful search built in where you can search through commit messages and other metadata or even code changes. What I don't like about source tree is that often it doesn't pick up changes that I make to the repo using the command line. As a general rule of thumb, I only use the GUI for reading the repo, but not writing to it. So usually I run all of these commands from the command line. The main advantage of this is that I know exactly which command I used and when something goes wrong, I can see error messages, which are often not as clear in the GUI. In source tree, we can actually see the full command history of every command that was executed and also the output. This is great, but unfortunately source tree adds a lot of unnecessary cosmetic arguments to these commands. So I worry that especially for beginners, it's going to be quite difficult to understand what the command actually does. In any case, when I modify the repo from the command line and then switch back to source tree, it sometimes won't immediately pick up those changes automatically. So I often have to hit control R to manually refresh the repo. In general, SourceTree's UI could be a bit faster. You can see here that when I switch to different commits, there's always these little spinners loading the changes. Not a big deal, of course, but as we'll see later, there are some GUIs that are much faster. Something I really like about SourceTree is how you can easily add uncommitted pieces of code to staging or discard them. You can even do this with individual lines of code. I often go through all my changes like this before I commit, to make sure I don't accidentally commit any unrelated changes or debug statements. One thing that surprised me to see is that source tree actually has pretty good GitHub integration, even though it's made by a competitor. You can connect your account to easily clone repos, and it even lets you create pull requests, sending you to a pre-filled browser window. Another cool thing about source tree is the interactive rebase feature, which lets you squash, edit and reorder past commits. I have a full video on interactive rebasing on my channel, which I'm a little sad to see is my least watched video, even though I personally think it's the most useful one I've made so far. So please go watch it, link down below. One area where source tree is lacking is that there's no built-in merge editor. So when you get a conflict while merging or rebasing, you're given the error message and then have to switch back to your IDE to do the conflict resolution. The fact that you're in a conflicting state isn't really shown well in the UI here, and I think that other clients do this much better. For example, in Sublime Merge, you get this really nice merge preview telling us very clearly that the main branch is being merged into the feature branch. It also gives us useful options like squashing and lets us know in advance that a merge commit will be created. When we hit a merge conflict, this is clearly communicated in the UI. We then get to use this fantastic three-way merge editor. You can see the two conflicting versions to the left and right, and in the middle we have the merged version. We can easily pick the desired changes from both the conflicting versions and even copy over partial changes to the merged version. Another thing that stands out about Sublime Merge is the crazy fast UI. Everything just opens instantly, and I'd really love to know how they pulled this off. The commit history and diffs are rendered nicely, and I really like that the changes to the files here are expanded by default which just saves extra clicks when browsing the commit history. Another standout feature in Sublime Merge is the really powerful command palette. I think this is super helpful for beginners since it's almost like using the command line, but with the GUI gently nudging you in the right direction, telling you what the commands do and preventing incorrect entries. At the same time, it's amazing for power users that already have memorized the commands and are just faster on the keyboard. Sublime Merge also has more advanced features like interactive rebasing. For example, you can right-click a commit to edit, squash, and reorder it, but the UI is not quite as nice here as in source tree. It also doesn't come with GitHub integration, so to clone your repos and create pull requests, you'll have to take an extra trip to your browser. If you want deep GitHub integration, why not go straight to the source and use the official GitHub desktop app? I was initially impressed with this free tool, 
because even though the UI is super simple and intuitive, it is actually also quite powerful and mostly feature complete. Of course, you have deep GitHub integration, making it really easy to clone your repos and quickly create pull requests. And you can even preview all your changes before it takes you to a pre-filled browser window. The UI is also really slick, deserving a shout out for the best UI on staging your uncommitted changes, making it easy to select individual lines or entire chunks of code. Unfortunately, the app is based on Electron, so don't expect it to reach the same speeds as the other GUIs I've shown you. Some features are also quite hard to discover. For example, I initially thought that there's no interactive rebasing in this tool, but you can actually do some actions like squashing or reordering but I haven't found a way to edit past commits or commit messages. There's also no built-in merge editor, so you're gonna have to switch to your IDE to fix merge conflicts. Most importantly to me, there's also no way to look at the branching history in a graph view. Unfortunately, you can only view the history of individual branches, which for me personally is a deal breaker. So out of these three clients, to me Sublime Merge clearly comes out on top. Of course, there are many more Git clients out there, so let me know what your favorite feature is, and maybe I'll do a follow-up video. By the way, I'm still working on my interactive Git cheat sheet, which will hopefully come out this fall. So go to philomatics.com slash git cheat sheet to get notified when that's released. Have a great day and thanks for watching Philomatics.